Do you have any specific tips for preparing for the MMI? Well, I read Doing Right, um, which was helpful just for formatting my answers. But I would say like the most helpful thing that I did preparing for my interview, whether it's panel or MMI, was I looked at what competencies they're looking for in a PA and what the values and mission statement were of the university. And then I looked at my own experiences and I literally wrote out stories that I felt reflected those experiences. And then that way, just so that they were fresh in my mind. And then if I got asked a question and I, I could easily pull and be like, oh, I've actually had an experience similar to this. Um, and it just helped a lot to be able to relate things to my own experiences without having to like dig into the depths of my memory, like going in really prepared allowed me to answer the questions without being rehearsed and to kind of like not feel as nervous as well. So that was my approach. And uh, in addition to doing right, do you have any other books or other resources that you use to prepare for interviews? Google is really helpful. Um, like Googling questions, BMO I know has some um, very helpful questions, uh, question lists. Um, I watched a lot of YouTube videos of interviews that I found to be very helpful. I think some of them were BMO as well. Um, but honestly, like, yeah, Googling and YouTube, um, there's a lot of free resources that, that can be very helpful. I know it's easy to kind of go down a rabbit hole of all of the different resources, um, and sometimes they can get kind of pricey. Um, but I found a lot of success with the free, easily accessible resources from Google and YouTube. Uh, I also used BMO as well. They have like big lists of questions, so that was really helpful. Um, being aware of just what's happening, like in sort of the social political sphere um, is probably good to know, especially right now with vaccines and like there's lots of lots of room to to be invested in what's happening out in the world and for that potentially to to at least practice questions on that. And then I think really what Rachel was saying earlier about like journaling, like in terms of why you should get into this program, you're kind of your best resource. So really spending time kind of like looking inward as opposed to just looking for resources online. Yeah. Excellent. So it sounds like self-reflection and practice should really be the majority of your preparation rather than reading about the MMI. Um, I did a lot of that as well. Um, I actually did a lot of the writing. I did a lot of like journaling kind of just to, um, a lot of like self-reflection. Um, again, it, that just really helped me with having answers fresh in my mind and, you know, the questions like, tell us about you. Um, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Things like that. Having um, those answers ready to go. Um, but then also just, yeah, looking, like Kelsey said, looking at the experiences that you've had already and try to tie them into why it would make you a really great PA. Um, you can tie almost any, you, uh, you can connect a lot of experiences to why it would make you a great PA. So spend time really making those parallels. Um, and then that really helps too. So one, uh, one person had asked that they, had, they do struggle with nervousness and stress during interviews. Uh, any tips on how to tackle that? Um, I would say just practice. I was very, very nervous as well. Um, but I have, have done a lot of interviews uh, in my life, I've had a lot of different jobs. And so what I found is just the more that I do interviews, the easier that it gets with every single one. And so I'm not saying go and do a bunch of interviews, but, but practice, um, find a group to practice with, practice in front of the mirror, um, as cliche as, as it is, just practice, practice, practice. And it, it really does help you get more comfortable. I mean, I think it's important just to remember that everyone is so nervous and the panel knows that you're nervous. So if you stumble over some words or you have to take a minute to think, like that's okay. Um, and then, yeah, like Rachel said, just practice as much as you can. Practice recording yourself, practice in a mirror. Um, yeah, practice and just know that it's okay if you stumble a bit, everyone's nervous. Mm -hmm.